Dances with Wolves, filmed in the Black Hills of South Dakota, gave us all a much better understanding of how important the buffalo were to Native Americans. Kevin Costner later said, these Black Hills gave me the feeling I was a part of history. Let's hear Kevin's story of how he created Tatanka, story of the bison. I've always, in my heart, believed that there was a big history before Hickok. The uh, plains and Deadwood, and um, it's not something that's talked about very much. And I've been trying to build a hotel for about six, seven, eight years, and, um, and hadn't been able to do it. No one has the same feeling, at least from a big money standpoint, trying to get a partner to come to build a hotel. 1994, Kevin Costner commissioned a sculpture to reflect the special relationship the Lakota Indians had with the American buffalo. It was to become the focal point of a resort hotel he was planning to build outside of historic Deadwood, South Dakota. Everybody looked at me and they shook their heads because they thought, Kevin, what are you doing? You, have, you don't even have a hotel and now you're commissioning these, these sculptures. And, and as the hotel began to diminish in terms of being able to get to it, I kept funding the building of these sculptures. The commission was awarded to a local artist, Peggy Detmers. One of Peggy's sculptures had won the World Bison Competition the year before. And Kevin says, um, a lot of sculptors would love this job, why should I give it to you? And I said, I had been a wildlife biologist working with the bison, and with this piece taking first place, from the world bison growers, why would you go anywhere else? <laughs> and so goes, okay, you got the job. <laughs> Her sketches of a Lakota buffalo jump intrigued Costner. The buffalo jump was one of several ways in which the Plains Indians were able to hunt buffalo. Several Indians on horseback herded the buffalo down drive lanes toward a sharp drop off. Those buffalo that spilled off the cliff were killed, skinned, and eaten by the tribe. It appealed to Costner because it had drama. It was cinematic. Here was an opportunity to show the public in dramatic fashion something that hadn't occurred in over a hundred years. These Black Hills gave me the feeling that I was part of history and I couldn't get enough. I stopped at the construction of the Crazy Horse Monument. I was excited but it was just rock, his image still hiding in the great granite. I saw a jar and it said if I wanted to help I could give money. I didn't have much but I gave. I wanted to. It felt right. I couldn't help but be drawn into the story of the Great Plains Indians and the broken treaties that led to the loss of the great Pahasapa. An image continued to run through my head that I had both seen and experienced. The sight of buffalo running at full speed being chased on horseback in a life and death struggle. The image came into being one night at the number 10 saloon with Peggy Detmers and myself working off a napkin. Today you see her work, not to be duplicated anywhere in the world and a work that will most certainly outlive everyone here, giving silent testimony to the beauty and skill of a culture that once reigned here supreme. <laughs>